10-ish things I pack every single time I travel internationally with some pro tips that might help your next trip abroad a little bit more easy coming up. And if you're new here, whoop, whoop, I'm Christine with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. Let's jump into number one, which is, yeah, obviously your passport. But two other things I always bring along with it is one, a pen. This is my manatee pen, because I love manatees. For when you're filling out immigration papers, so you don't have to borrow somebody else's. And second is a paper clip. And that's because I always feel like I'm fumbling to open up my passport to the correct page. And instead what I do is I leave the paper clip in there so that I'm always at the picture page and I don't have to fumble for it. The second thing is your money. And here are a couple pro tips behind that. I always look up for the country I'm going to what the money situation is. So here are two examples. When I went to Tulum, Mexico last month, I knew that the ATMs often run out of cash. So I knew in advance when I was in the United States, I knew I needed to show up with a lot of pesos and have money on hand before I even got there. Or in this next example, I'm going to Ethiopia next month. And I always look to see which ATMs my bank is partnered with out there. In Tulum, it was Scotiabank, but in Ethiopia, I don't have any options at all. So I know I need to show up there with a lot of crisp, large bills, not too many, but just enough to get me started once I'm there. And of course, cash is never my preferred method of paying when I'm abroad. I love using my travel credit card and I swear by the Amex Platinum. Videos on that, link in the description below. And if you want more tips on how I do my money planning, full video in the description below. The next one is my travel plugs. So I'm looking up for the country I'm going to, do I even need an extra plug? So in Mexico, it wasn't a problem, but as I'm getting ready to go to Cape Town and Ethiopia, I know I do need some kind of plug. The next one is melatonin. And I don't have a specific brand that I use, and this video is not sponsored by anybody. I usually just get whatever is at Target or on Amazon. But my pro tip here is I use melatonin when I need to, but one of the things I do is three days before I fly, depending on how many time zones I'm jumping, I will change my watch to the time of the place I'm going to and I start to adjust my entire schedule toward that time if I can. So for example, going to bed 30 minutes earlier or starting to wake up a little bit earlier, things like that or I'll add that place I'm traveling to on my list of world clocks on my phone if I don't really want to adjust to the time, but I will when I'm flying, try really hard to sleep or not sleep on the plane, depending on what time it is in that place I'm traveling to. And that's when melatonin really comes in handy. This next one is really important to me, which by the way, if you're getting some value out of this, cheers that like button and consider subscribing and tell me in the comments below, what are some of the things that you pack? Cause we're all a community here. This next one's really important to me because not only is it something that helps me to feel refreshed and not exhausted after flying, but it also means I won't have bad breath. So I love packing my toothpaste and toothbrush with me in it. And it's such a great way to feel refreshed in the middle of a long flight or in the middle of a long day of travel. But here's my pro tip for you, is I bring little disposable cups. So I have these little disposable cups that I just fold up and put into my bag because it's, a, it's always awkward when you're at the sink in a public bathroom when you're like trying to rinse your mouth out. It's just awkward. So having the little cups is really helpful if you decide to brush your teeth while you're traveling. Or if you're just lazy, make sure you pack some gum because it takes up like no space. And speaking of comfort, the other thing that I love to bring are some kind of face wipe and some kind of small moisturizer and a moisturizer or lotion that does not smell at all because there's nothing worse than being on a plane next to someone putting on super smelly lotions or perfumes. Or if you don't want to bring face wipes, one thing I always bring every single time I travel is non-smelly hand wipes. And I love these ones, which are the baby wipes from Target that you can get in the travel section. I've been using them for years. And what I love about it is that it can double as wiping your surroundings, or you can just use it to wipe your own hands. Obviously hand sanitizer, masks, all those things as well. But let's also talk about the neck pillow because making sure you're comfortable and able to sleep on a long haul flight, super important. A lot of people bring the large neck pillows, but that's just, that just takes up way too much space in my opinion. I love using this style of neck pillow, which takes up almost no room at all and can support your head. Don't I look weird? It's awkward to wear with hoop earrings. I do it anyway. And if I know I'm traveling overnight, I always make sure to bring an eye mask and earplugs as well. But if you don't want to bring a travel pillow, here are a few other ideas that I use. I'm all about the travel scarf. So this one is my Lululemon scarf, which is great because it's dry fit and I can sweat all over it easily. I'm a sweaty person, but I can use it both as a scarf and then I can also use it as something to put my head on. 
And then lastly, it can triple as a blanket, which if I'm cold on a flight and I don't want to pack a lot of layers of clothes, it's a really great one for that as well. I also love the Waypoint Good scarf, which is another circular scarf, but what's unique about it is that it has a special pocket that you can put your wallet and passport into and keep it close to your heart and make sure it's safe, which that pocket is so hidden. I can't even find where it's at. But if you're traveling somewhere, it doesn't make sense to bring a scarf, like a beach vacation. I love just bringing my sarong onto the flight. And same thing, I'll just use it as something to put around my shoulders or something to put my head against. My next one's about comfort as well, and it's compression socks. And these ones are by Turtle, and I don't know about you, but my feet totally swell when I fly. So any flight that's over three or four hours, I always make sure to wear compression socks so I'm a little bit more comfortable when I land. And if it's a really long flight, I'll bring a change of clothes so that I can just quickly change into something that's fresh once I land so I don't feel so gross. One that's really important and that's travel chargers. So I love using this small one for you know a single charge on my phone. This is by Anchor by the way. And this is a great one if I'm just, you know, I need a couple charges while I'm on a plane. But who Look at this bad boy. I just got this one. Supposedly it will get me almost 10 charges on my iPhone 11, which one thing to be aware of if you're getting these huge travel banks is making sure that it's compliant with going onto a plane. And this one is just under those kilowatt hour maximum that you're allowed to bring on the plane. So this baby is gonna keep me charged while I'm in the mountains of Ethiopia for five days. A lot of people use packing cubes, and if you do, tell me in the comments below. I haven't caught on to them yet, but I love using Ziploc bags. So I love storing my clothes in gallon-sized Ziploc bags because they can also double for other things, and I bring other sizes as well. So whether it's the snack size Ziploc bag that's carrying all my pesos, or I'm using one of the bags for when I'm going scuba diving or onto a boat to keep my items dry, or I'm using them as trash bags on the go, I love bringing Ziploc bags. And if you're looking for more pro tips like this, I have a full video about 15 things I do every single time before I travel abroad. Link in the description below. This next one, water bottle. And the only way I think about it is how long is my flight and what kinds of things am I doing on the other side? And that just determines what size of water bottle I bring, small, medium, or large. And this next one, super important to me, is headphones. So when it comes to headphones, I always bring two pairs. I bring the kind in which the jack will fit into the airplane entertainment system so I can watch the movies that are on the flight and then I bring my own headphones for my devices. Those are the things I pack every single time I travel internationally and I'm about to go ride a mountain bike through Ethiopia. Follow me on Instagram to see the behind the scenes and stay tuned on my channel for that. If you found some value in this video, cheers that like button. If you haven't already, tell me in the comments below if there was anything that you found extra helpful or tell me what you would pack and I'll see ya in the next adventure. Ciao.